Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Here we are then for another episode of Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. It's episode eight called Elderon, the Wood Dragon God. So we're going to be introduced to Elderon, uh, the Wood Dragon God, in this episode. I wonder. I I really still want to know what the hell with the random like other version of Ursa. Why what is going on? Like who is she? What is this random place we've just been? We've just found. God knows. But anyway, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can watch. This reaction video in a couple of different places, depending on what you want. So if you want to see the edited version, it'll be on YouTube as normal. If you want to see the full uncut version where you can watch along with me, you can watch it on YouTube memberships or Patreon, whichever one you prefer. So let's get us synced up, shall we, for those that are watching it along with me in three, two, one, go. Fairy nail. Like, what is that about? What is fairy nail about? Why? <laughs> Wait, are they all going to have versions of everybody then? So is she the actor for Ursa? Wait, is that the this is so random. All right, come on then. Introduce us to this new wood dragon god. Wait, is that actor Natsu? <laughs> it's our girl's top star. <laughs> is that Lucy? <laughs> Wow, he is a douche, man. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, they actually have just hired cats. Wow, that's an insult. Of course they are. Why is Elfman a... Wait, what? No, you have no experience. Whoa. Uh oh. What? Ah. Okay. Okay. How have we suddenly gone from beating a water god to literally this? The water dragon god. Oh wow, she actually did give us some advice. Oh, for God's sake, here we go again. Both gonna feel weak because they're on a moving transport again. <laughs> what? Why did they swap? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Wait, is that actually her? Oh, that's going to get confusing. What? No, it was the other way around. Wait a minute. 
I know they've all been captured at the moment by what's the face. You don't think No, because it wouldn't make sense why that some of them no, I don't know. Wow. Oh, he didn't deny it to be fair. Uh, this feels really awkward that he's going on a date with someone that looks like. Does he like Juvia then? Why not? Yeah, when will he be ready? Maybe this will help him actually. This is like. What? I forgot. For goodness sake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she does. How do we know that she... Mm -hmm. That is good to hear, to be fair. Ah. Ah. Wow. That's awkward. Jesus Christ, Nazi, what did you do? Burn everyone. And travel. Wait. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, what? Huh? Why is Juvia here? Huh? Oh. No, 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 no. She's had a memory wiped or something. Because we know that they all got kidnapped and taken away or done whatever with them. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't seem as crazy as she normally is. Come on. Why is she sweating about it? Oh my gosh, she doesn't know, does she then? She, she's had a memory wiped. I was going to say, she was investigating them with... With Gargiel, yeah. What the? Oh no. We're about to see the wood dragon turn up here. The same time every day. Yeah, they're starting to realise that the whole place has been... Yeah. Yeah. It is. Oh, Jesus, the size of it. Why have they built a city on his hand?
That looks like I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> yes, it does. Something's definitely happened to the girl, which you need to get back as soon as possible. I mean, Natsu would be stronger against the wood dragon, right? Because he is fire, so therefore, surely that's... Yeah, because we might, we might not have to fight him, we might have to fight him. Potentially, we don't know that for sure, though, do we? It was the so the dragon wanted that. Three hundred years ago. Ah, okay. Who the hell's this old man? Mm, mysterious old man, probably connected in some way. Does he smell like a dragon? Why does he keep saying so of her? He knows all the answers, clearly. So this is probably where all the actions can happen in here. Oh wow, here we go. Here comes the real version of him. Oh, one of the churches of the White Mage. Okay, and what's the second? Oh god, she's here. Oh, Mira, no, they've managed to got, get her. Oh god, they've got a power house now. Oh, it's the whole of their guild, isn't it? It's gonna be all of them. Oh, for. Oh, come on! How the heck are they gonna deal with all of them? That's gonna be solid. Great episode, though, now. Now it's made things very interesting. So it looks like we're gonna to have to go up against. So it's Team Fairy Tale versus Team Fairy Tale. That is it's going to be a tough old battle this is in the next episode. I don't know how they're going to convince them all though and knock them back to their senses that they're all part of the same guild. Um, yeah, great episode. They're really interested. It started off as being like this nice. It's like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. Come on, get on with it. And then all of a sudden at the end of it, it tied the importance of this episode together, which was brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. So let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I'll see you again for the next episode. Bye for now.